Have you ever had your tooth extracted and then experienced some severe pain a few days later? If yes, you may have had a dry socket. So what is a dry socket? A dry socket is also called alveolar ostitis and is a complication that can occur after a tooth extraction. It happens when the blood clot that forms in the empty tooth socket either dissolves too quickly or becomes dislodged. This then exposes the bone and the nerves within the socket which can cause severe pain. For some reason, this occurs more commonly in the lower jaw when compared to the upper jaw. The symptoms of a dry socket usually occur between 2-3 to three days after a tooth has been extracted. The most common symptom is severe pain in the area of the empty tooth socket. The pain can be throbbing and constant and can actually radiate to your jaw or even your ears. Some other symptoms can include discomfort or pain when chewing or drinking. You can also experience the swelling of the gum around the empty tooth socket. And in some cases, you may experience a foul taste, especially if an infection has set in. There are a number of factors that can actually increase your risk of developing dry sockets and they include rinsing your mouth on the day of extraction or rinsing too vigorously. This can dislodge the blood clots. Smoking or drinking of alcohol can naturally affect the healing process which can predispose you to having a dry socket. Any sucking motion such as using a straw can actually apply negative pressure which can dislodge the blood clots leading to a dry socket. If you have a weakened immune system, it can also affect the healing process and predispose you to a dry socket. Taking certain medications like corticosteroids or birth control pills can increase your risk of having a dry socket. If you have a current or previous infection of the affected tooth, especially if that infection has been recurrent, it can increase your risk of having a dry socket. And also, if food particles find their way into the empty tooth socket, it will definitely affect the healing process and predispose you to a dry socket. But sometimes, even in the absence of all of these risk factors, some people still develop dry sockets. If you think you have a dry socket, please make sure you visit your dentist immediately. The empty tooth socket will be cleaned and any debt will be removed. And then a medicated dressing will be placed into the socket. This will help to reduce pain and also stimulate secondary wound healing. Some antibiotics and some painkillers will also be prescribed to you. Now, is there a way to prevent dry sockets? There are actually a number of things that you can do. Avoid smoking and drinking alcohol for at least one to two weeks after the tooth extraction. Avoid using a straw for at least a week after the extraction. Begin to rinse your mouth with warm salt water 24 hours after the extraction. Please do not rinse your mouth on the day of the extraction. You can actually dislodge the blood clots. Brush your teeth gently, but make sure to avoid the extraction sockets. Avoid spitting out excessively. Ensure to eat a soft diet for the first few days after your extraction and make sure to avoid chewing on the side where the tooth was extracted. Preferably, you can take foods that you can easily swallow so that you are not tempted to chew. So have you ever had a dry socket? If yes, let me know what your experience was like. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And please like, share and subscribe so that you get notified when i post new videos and i will see you in the next one